What's up guys, Spider Steve here. Before we start, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, it would be a huge help in uh, getting my name out there and getting more people to watch these videos. You, know, you never know, they might see something they like and they're missing out on it. So today, uh, we're going back to Kaldheim. We just ended our 30 days of 30 set boosters a few days ago and um, I, I found this on eBay. It's kind of a review video, I guess. It was a uh, Star City, Star City Gaming, and they had this Kaldheim kit, which I think they also had Zendikar Rising kits, and I'll have the uh, link in the description below. But it um, came with some play mats, some packs, some sleeves, some tokens, and some promo cards. And it was, um, I'll start unboxing it now. It was forty nine dollars, forty nine ninety nine. So I thought it was a good deal, but I guess we're gonna check it out here and see if it really is a good deal um, as you can tell I didn't didn't open anything this is the first time I'm opening it um, here are the play mats let's check those out so it's a star city open sweet pirate I will definitely use that and or give it to my brother-in-law or someone else maybe a subscriber you never know oh that's a sweet shoulder yeah it's the the Grand Prix London. Very nice. That's a cool play mat. Very cool. Not as cool as my Calhoun play mat back here. And then we've got some promo cards. Which I'll check those out in a minute. Let's see what we got here. This is either going to be the packs or the sleeves. So I was curious what the sleeves are going to be. Okay, so Grand Prix New Jersey. I don't know how many are in here. I believe it's 60. It looks like it. Grand Prix London. Same as the uh, playmat, probably 60. And <laughs> Star City Games, how many are in here? These are 80, 80 sleeves. So you've got 60 for your standard, standard, and then a few for a sideboard, some zebra, and what are those otters? I don't know what the heck those are. Ah, they're cute, nonetheless. Got some relic tokens. And this is probably the boosters, the draft boosters, and there they are. So you get a third of a or a third of a booster box. Um, let's check out these promos. I mean, I think even if those, uh, let me get some tape on here. Even if those um, play mats are ten dollars a piece, so that's twenty dollars in play mats. The sleeves, I don't know, seven bucks, so it's fifteen dollars. Another 10 bucks here, probably. So we're at $45, I would estimate, with the play mats and sleeves. Now let's check out these uh, promos. Dominaria, nice. I'm not going to know what a lot of these promos are, since I'm such a newcomer to Magic since 2000. Well, I left since 2001. That's a cool promo. But it's cool to have a bunch of nice foily, foily cards given to you, you know, always nice. That's a nice card. I guess it's probably always nice when they have the date on them, huh? <laughs> Makes them a little more valuable, or a stamp, I believe. Oh yeah. Everyone likes a dinosaur. It's almost my birthday. Mine's September 19th. But not 2012. Whew. These are Kaladesh. That is a pretty cool uh, Demon of Catastrophes promo. It actually has the 25 stamp up there. Okay, so those aren't bad. I mean, I don't know if there's anything of crazy value in there because I don't really know the value on all the promos. But uh, let's check out these relic tokens. I've never opened these before, so I don't know what to expect. So we've got a pirate. Is that just one? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's very nice. Very nice pirate. A foily vampire with a lifelink. Bird, a flying bird. What a surprise! So those are those are neat. 
and uh, we might as well crack open these packs. So like I said, I think we're like $40, $45 with play mats and sleeves. I don't know how much these tokens are. The promos, I mean, at least how many promos were here? I think it was 20. One, two. Well, that was a little damaged. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 promos. Even though they're a dollar a piece, 20 bucks. And I mean, I'll probably give those to my kids. You know, they like shiny stuff. So that's 20 bucks. I mean, they said $100 value. I think they're probably right, to be honest with you. And then these are, even if you get a booster box, what are these? Uh, $3 a pack minimum. Might as well crack these suckers open and see what we can get. Nice foil. Why aren't these out of order? Oh, these are. I'm so used to the dang set boosters. So there's our foil, and there's our rare. I watched um, Unhinged Magi do a God Box yesterday. It's pretty cool. Um, so I need to check my. I don't really want to open my cases of Caldheim and check the. Uh, check to see if I have any uh, God boxes myself. There's a specific um, serial code on there. Oh, nice, nice mythic. Serial code on there that I guess signified whether or not it was a uh, God box. And it basically, it wasn't what people thought. It didn't mean that there was um, all gods in the box, all gods in the packs. It was um, basically the uncommons were replaced with rares and mythics. So they got, they opened, I think, 30 of the 36 packs, and it was an absurd amount of Mythics. There's a nice rare. We've seen a lot of these cards by doing the uh, set booster opening. Which, spoiler alert, I'm not done with uh, Kaldheim. I think I'm going to do a video next week with a nice chunk of my Kaldheim collection in search of um, Vorinclex, because I was kind of... Not mad, but I really, oh, there's a nice rare. I really wanted to pull one of those for my uh, commander deck when we were doing the set booster opening and didn't get one. I also have, probably in the next two weeks or so, Rudy is um, opening a draft booster box for me. I've been a patron for a few months here and this is the first first time I was able to get in on, a, on an opening, so I said, why not? It was only a few dollars more than what the draft booster normally costs so nice vampire dragon pulled that one when we were doing the set um so i figured why not give me another chance to pull a boring clex and better yet get it on film with a rudy maybe we'll get one today i mean we a third of a booster box here is, there's a chance right so yeah i think he would be a good addition to anyone's uh any type of commander deck, especially one that deals with counters and whatnot, because you just double double the counters. He he works really good with planeswalkers. I think there was a video that um, the professor did about that. Basically, your planeswalker immediately comes into play with um, double the counters on it or double the loyalty points on it, so you can pretty much do your ultimate right out of the gate, which is. I mean, in my opinion, it's pretty OP. And then if you have anything else that's like gain, two counters, this or that, you just just double it. I mean, simple as that. You definitely pulled him. I remember him and his little snow babies. See his little snow babies. But yeah, I would say uh, I would say this is worth the fifty dollars. Like I said, I'll put a link below. I'm not. I mean, maybe I'll get the Zendikar one, but it's gonna probably be the same stuff, just with Zendikar packs. I would assume. I mean, it would have been cool if it was some Kaldheim uh, mats, but I definitely did not expect that because I think the these mats are a little a little more expensive than um, the ones that they gave me. The ones they gave me are clearly their mats that are kind of giveaway type things. But yeah, these I think I was bought the last one and they came back into stock. So well, there we go, foil rare, nice. Um. I'm sure if they, they sell well, they'll just keep doing these. I think I have him in my my uh, 
Look at my online deck, or my uh, arena deck. Mm -hmm. Just breeze through these. Man, I'm not doing a good job keeping these on camera. Sorry about that, guys. I couldn't see this. A little different setup today. Also, there's some banging in the background. They are working on building my uh, garage for my house right, right now. So they're putting some rebar and stuff in. Another God favorite, I guess. I guess these weren't God packs because we ended up with some uncommons. But that's what a God pack was. It kind of just eliminated the uncommons. Last pack here, $50. In my opinion, definitely worth it. Like I said, this isn't a sponsor video. This isn't an ad or anything, but I will put the uh, link in the description below for this and the um, Zendikar Rising one, if any of you are interested. And uh, go ahead and feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.